21 past five. It's overnight on 3AW. I just really can't believe the gathering that is in the studio here. Usually it's just full of humble folk like you and I, Mark. But, I know, I know. And uh, now we walk among gods. And I'm talking Neil Mitchell and Heidi Murphy. Good morning. First of all, I'll say to the ladies, the lady in red, Heidi Murphy, good morning. Good morning to you, Andrew. Neil Mitchell, sir. Are we going to play some music? No one bites the dust or something like that? <laughs> no, no, no. We've got something a little more somber than that. Oh, I think no. a little more wistful. I that. just wanted to drop in and wish you and Ookie Pookie Pumpkin <laughs> all <laughs> the best <laughs> as you load up the EH, hook up the wagon, strap Mark to the roof and head off head off on the Grey Nomads Tour of Australia. What a right. wonderful image that is. <laughs> Mark on top. Eh? Oh, thank you very much for that, Neil. It's uh, Ookie been a pleasure. Pookie will be sick of you in a week. No, I know you're going to keep working. You're oh, yes, here I am doing five it. minutes. Yeah, I, I, well, I don't want to be here every five minutes, no. No, 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 no thank you. But, uh, yes, I will be returning from time to time, filling in. and just. Well, look at Ron Burke. He, he, I went to his retirement function years ago. I think gave him a gold watch or something. Yeah, yeah. We had footballers come in. And <laughs> yeah, got I, footballers come in. That's right, it was all very big. It was back in Bank Street, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. I was there. have never seen more of him since. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll be doing sort of cameo roles, I suppose you could call it, really, as in theatre. 8.30 to midday with Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. No, no. That, oh, my God, I'd be so out of my depth. Well, you just keep your mobile phone with you in case that call ever comes. Yes, I've got to switch the battery on. I uh, can't stand mm. mobile phones, you know, and, I, and someone said from management, you should have a mobile phone and use it because they've apparently rung me several times and I, I just don't well, answer. Well, no, you never answer those. <laughs> <What is? laughs> Check who it is. Well, thank you very much for that. I really do appreciate it. I'll speak on behalf of Mark here. I know you yeah, want to say thanks to no, him. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, guys. It's been, it's been wonderful. It's well, been good luck on the roof, Mark. It'll oh, be... yeah, I'll be hanging on tight. <laughs> and the, it's been a checkered career, hasn't it, from uh, Brunswick Tech as a school teacher? Yeah, Coburg Tech, but yes, that's right. Yeah. That's and right. Uh, also Dales for Tech, and uh, what was the other one? I can't remember even. Magic. Now. No, no, that wasn't, no, no. And then from there to selling trousers at Fletcher Jones. Trousers? Yes. Uh, more trousers yeah, I once, I once slacks, wouldn't they? Hello, yeah, mate. Yes, Let me tell one. you, I was Mercer to the stars, Neil. I once measured the inside leg of <laughs> Norman Banks, and I kid you not. Uh, I'm probably one of the few people left in this building who know what the measurement is of Norman. What was it? Uh, well, I'm not going to reveal it to you like that. Well, you wouldn't mind now. <laughs> I suppose he's beyond it a bit, isn't he? <laughs> but it was terrific to do those sort of things. And then from Did you uh, ever get a wink when you were sort of measuring inside legs from people who were, in those days, probably not allowed to exist? Just once. Really? Just oh. once, yes. Hello. It was very awkward. <laughs> Hello, sailor sort <laughs> who of Who was thing. it? Oh, no, it wasn't a, a celebrity at oh. all. There was well, what did you say back, though? Well, it was the guy had shorts on, oh. and it was summertime. Oh. <laughs> and I'd uh, made oh. a bit of an error. And near those what cold metal tabs on the end of the measuring. <laughs> mm. What did you do with the tab? Well, I, I, it just went a little too high. Oh, and, oh, oh. and he liked it. <laughs> well, yeah, a remark was made to me, and I scarpered out of the booth. Because we're in those little fitting rooms, you know, with the curtain closed. Just the two of you? Mm, very cosy. Yeah. Where was this Fletcher Jones? Uh, Fletcher Jones, Queen Street, yeah. And uh, from <laughs> there, <laughs> well, yes, I suppose appropriate, wasn't it? And uh, from there to uh, selling, I travelled in ladies' jewellery for a while, for Launder Brothers, uh, as a commercial traveller, and mm. uh, then from there to radio. It was uh, quite oh, a, sort so of a natural step. Yeah. Well, it was, yeah, most people do. Did you go to a radio school? I went to, knows how to speak proper. I did. I went to the uh, Bob Taylor Announcers Academy. I was his very first people. Oh, no, there's no need for your sniggering. <laughs> yeah. you were, oh, you, no, no, you've you got were, a good voice. You were copy boy somewhere, weren't you? No. I'm running around. What did you start I as? I was a cadet. Oh, you came in oh. at sort of a professional level. Heidi, where did you start? Uh, in radio. Yeah, As but a I'm newsreader. I'm oh, really? <laughs> yes. Right, straight from school virtually. Yeah, yeah. You know, a little it's community. Out back it's a little community radio station in Queensland, yes. But Where, which was it? <laughs> a little uh, radio station in uh, Brisbane called Family Radio. Oh, that sounds sweet. Mm, it was lovely. And what, you were a teenager? No, no. Well, I went to university. I did a degree. I'm one of those. Oh, yeah. Well, that's I all right. I did a degree. I was speaking with someone just about this yesterday. Those degrees aren't worth the paper they're written on. You learn more in a week on the job than you learn in three years at university. But yeah. still, I'll be encouraging my children to go to uni, obviously. Yes, you mm. seem to have to want to get that bit of paper, don't you? That's what my daughter's finding at the moment in the world of publishing. Mm. She's got this Bachelor of Arts degree. It's, well, really sort of gets you an interview for the job. Well, that's, that's about, about it, it doesn't Oh, it? you learn more on the job. Measuring inside legs, I'm sure. <laughs> I suppose I did too. Was the couple... leg hairy? <laughs> oh, <laughs> under those shorts. <laughs> <laughs> On a hot day, I and think it was, you said. It was more sweaty than hairy, oh, I remember, great. and matted, as my memory goes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Seriously, well done and good Thank luck, you. and we look forward to seeing you back here regularly.
Thank you, Neil. I, I do mean it. It's been a pleasure always working with you. Now, I'll find out from you, Heidi, just what's on the Neil Mitchell program this morning. Have you told His uh, Highness? Well, no, we've come in early to speak to you. Haven't even flipped through the papers. Nothing. Haven't thought too much about it just yet. No, no, there'll be plenty. Oh, there'll be plenty. Speed gun. Oh, there he is. My Speaking of inside oh, links. Stars are plenty. I just can't <laughs> believe this. I've been ignored for years. I've yeah, seen I it. <laughs> thought I could I've... give you three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> they won't know this voice. <laughs> Ross, good morning to yeah. you, sir. Oh, Becca, how are you? Hi. I'm fine. Good to see you. Oh, it gets even bigger. The most ah. burns. Oh, so I'm going to get a little teary. Guys. He's coming. Oh, I've this. come back specially from a holiday just to say goodbye oh, to you. It was important minute you would. Thank you, John, for coming in, Ross. It's always a delight to listen to you two guys as I head home. Well, you see, you have a history in this particular caper, don't you? So, can we get the three-minute sort of Andrew McLaren potted version of Australian radio? Yes, I started at Seven HT Hobart uh, as the Midnight to Dawn announcer, uh, playing the cuts, of course, in those days, right. and then progressed to 3GL Geelong, and I was told I'd have to take a pay cut. Yeah. That we don't pay big city <laughs> for, uh, wages <laughs> like they do in Hobart. I was told by Reg Gray, the manager right? of 3GL. And you can't expect that. So, and I took a pay cut. So that, that, that were the days of the apprenticeships at radio, country radio stations, were they? Because John Law yeah. started at 3BO, didn't That's you? right, yeah. It's, it's very much lo like that. And I had to put file records away in the record library at 3GL and all that sort of stuff you had yeah. to do. And uh, then from there, I thought, oh, someone told me there was a job at 3 AW, and I thought, oh, this is big time, man, I've got to do this. Yeah. And uh, ended up at uh, studying in Latrobe Street there, doing nights with Alex Kenworthy. Is that right? It was an education. Mm. What was your, what's your favourite uh, shift? Midnight till dawn or the breakfast program that you did on Magic? <laughs> oh, no. Actually, it would be, I think, afternoons. It's a gentleman's hours, aren't they? Yeah. Really. I've got to tell you, though, I think that afternoons would be John Burns' least favourite shift. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no one works in the afternoon. <laughs> oh, my God, you're a lounge lizard to the end, aren't you? You are just an absolute sybarite still to this day. It's incredible he's got away with it all his life, yeah. Yes, I know. Hey, who is the greatest? Who? Greatest broadcaster in, in your time in Australian radio. Uh, well, oh, gee, that's awkward. Like, look who's sitting to my right. No, 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 don't worry about all that stuff. Which, uh, oh, it's got to be Neil. It's got to be um, John Laws. Laws. It has yeah, to be Laws, Laws at his best, at his most potent. There's a yeah. CD I heard once of Laws in the 1970s. It was yeah. just incredible. Every show yeah. was like a, a, a theatre production. I mean, it wasn't necessarily genuine, and the calls weren't necessarily <laughs> genuine. <laughs> <laughs> Neil will insist on honesty, and that's been a big mistake. But uh, I think it's Laws here, more than yeah. anybody else. An absolute giant to this day. Oh, you better get your music in. Yeah, I know, I've, got say, I've got to say goodbye to Mark, who's been with me. Thank yeah. you so much, Mark. Uh, it's, for been everything. A, it's been a great three and a half years, and I've got to say, after 26 years being at this radio station, it's been an absolute pleasure that people have bloody fantastic and I am going to miss it very much. Thank you, Mark, and you've been absolutely bloody fantastic as far as I'm concerned. Help me through all the little rough patches of Jeez. Midnight to Dawn. Thank you, everybody, for gathering around like this. I'm going to get a little emotional. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Genuine, remember? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I will not. Yeah.